EA Sports. It's in the game. T-Mobile NBA Live 365 not updated. from Staples Center in Los Angeles. It's the Los Angeles Lakers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. We are nearing game time. Both clubs ready for the opening tip. Hi, everybody. Mark Harvick with Steve Kerr. Let's go courtside. As we get started, Steve, what's the game plan for the Lakers tonight? Well, you have to be concerned with the post play of Zydrunas Ilgauskas. He's also a guy who can pick and pop make that standstill 17-foot jump shot. So you know, he's someone you have to be very concerned with. All right, here we go. Bryant looking for the opening. And the bucket. Gets space. And Daniel Gibson throws the foul, and he'll shoot two. Well, he'll get two free throws here, Marvin. Very important early in the game to establish something from the free throw line. Gibson at the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter. He converts on the second after missing the first. Fisher shoots the three and rebounded by Wallace. That's the kind of shot that your teammates end up not liking you very much. That was a three-point attempt and Derek Fisher misfires. Marv, that's a good shot if you're going for the scoring championship, but not a good one if you're trying to win a game. Andrew Bynum scores. Nice move. 
Marv, you know the old coach's adage, great offense starts with solid defense. That's certainly the case here. Open opportunity, and Augustus is able to score. I think every player, Marv, has a, a favorite spot on the floor, and no question, his favorite is the top of the circle area. He is really good pulling up for that jumper. Gibson firing. Rejected. Hilgowskis again and scores. Good job by Serbia. Gauskas and the field goal. Bynum able to hustle it down and they can reset. Well, good offense usually leads to a high percentage shot. Nice effort there, Marv. with the shot. Yes! Steve, we have seen LeBron James come a long way in terms of the perimeter shots, but there is a degree of difficulty to the shots that he does attempt. Well, he's so athletic, Marv, that frequently you'll see him really fade away on 20-foot jump shots, and I think that's part of his maturation process as he goes forward in his career, taking better shots that are more on balance. Seven. Down to four. For three. And Kobe Bryant hit with a technical foul. Well, that'll be a free throw coming up. Well, he lost his man there, Mark, because he was indecisive about who to guard. He was very conscious of trying to help his teammates. But in the process, he got caught in the lane. Serbia came out of Miami of Ohio, Marv. One of the best pure shooters in the NBA. Plays that wing spot, and if he's open, he's going to let it fly every time. And Daniel Gibson will shoot too. Well, I like that move, Marv. Aggressively going to the hoop and getting a couple of easy opportunities at the free throw line. Gibson to the line. And he makes them both. Off 
defensive foul on Odom. Well, he got the call. Scoop, how would you like to take a, a hit like that? Well, I, I wouldn't. That's why I retired, and that's why I'm sitting next to you in the booth. Gibson looking for the open man. Bynum able to hustle it down. Yes. Well, nice job in transition there, Marv. This team trying to establish the tempo here in the first half. Four-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock.